What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we are going to take a look at this plate carrier from Prime Armor. Now Prime Armor is run by a couple really good dudes out on the west coast. I believe they are out of Oregon. A few months ago they sent me one of their plates to, to a test in review and their armor plate held up very very well. Now they sent me one of their plate carriers so I could show you boys and girls. Uh, before we get started let me quickly do my disclosure. Yes I work in the firearms industry. No that will not affect this video in any way shape or form. Yes Prime Armor did send me this plate carrier free of charge for me to review and that will also not affect this review in any way shape or form. I will give you all of my pros and cons as honestly as possible. Let me also quickly thank my three channel sponsors. If you want to support the channel, the discount codes or the links to all three are down in the video description. And let me also thank my Patreon supporters. Now overall, I'm going to say this plate carrier is a very, very good value. There's nicer plate carriers, there's much worse plate carriers, but for around $200 it is extremely nice very comfortable and has a lot of features that I would expect to see in a much more expensive plate carrier. Normally this comes in at $205. Right now, the second I am recording this video, which the sale will not last too long, it's $185. And Prime Mama also has a deal going on again right now. For $550 they give you the plate carrier, two armor plates, the mag pouches, and a med kit for $550. Now this video is going to be more of a first impressions video. I'll try to come back in like a year and give you a more long term review. Uh, but I have only had this in for about a month. I've worn it to the range three times. I've worked out in it nine or ten times in that area. I've worn it around the house all day when I'm working. Luckily I work from home so nobody thinks I'm crazy. The fabric that the plate carry is made out of is a 500D nylon type material which typically holds up really really well and I think this plate carrier should be very very durable. Now the pouches that uh, fit the armor plates are both 10 by 12 uh, pouches and the velcro is pretty strong. Not only does it have one set of velcro here uh, to close the bottom of the opening, it has a second velcro strap and that velcro is strong um, to really <laughs> to really hold that armor plate in place so it doesn't move at all on you uh, which is important because obviously you want it in the right location to protect all your vitals and also if you're like me and you're using this to work out or you're running on the range or everything you don't want the plates bouncing around in the plate carrier. I obviously put the prime armor plates in the prime armor plate carrier it just seemed like the right thing to do. Um, I don't know made sense to me. Um, on the bottom it, there is a little bit of room in here by the way. Um, I don't know if bigger plates than 10, 10 by 12 would fit in there. I don't have anything bigger to, to verify that but um, there is a little bit of room. Uh, on the bottom here let me show you is uh, uh, my hand warmer from Valhalla Tactical. If you live in a cold weather environment I absolutely think this is something you should add to your plate carrier. It has a little zipper here uh, so you can add in some snacks or a hand warmer. Inside is nice and soft. And this makes a huge difference when you're on the range in cold weather. Uh, these only cost about $40, so they're not too expensive. Now these front pouches here are also from Prime Armor. They do not come with the plate carrier, but they're only about $30 extra. Uh, very basic, inexpensive uh, uh, magazine carriers if you want to go this way. If not, there is a thousands of different options, whether you want to hook it to the Swift Clips or hook it to the Velcro that's underneath, or there's a Molly panel here. Um, it gives you almost unlimited amount of options of how you want to mount uh, magazine pouches. The um, underneath the magazine pouch is, uh, like I said, just mo a Molly panel, so you can hook up a lot of different things. And then under under the Molly panel, there is more Velcro. Like most, that's how the Cumberbund attaches with Velcro. Um, and then up top here, you have more Molly to hook up any pouches or cool guy accessories. A little bit of Velcro. I threw the patch on here from Valhalla Tactical. And then up top here, you do have a small zipper pouch. Um, which doesn't quite fit my phone. I was hoping it would. I noticed it fits my phone this way. I, I was hoping I could record and have like a first person view, but the second I held a pistol or a rifle out, I blocked the camera and it didn't work. Um, so most of you guys will find some tactical thing to put in here, but I just put snacks in there. 
Now moving up to the straps on top here, you do have some uh, stretchy little material to hold things. And underneath that, you do have some molly. So you can hook a lot of different things in here. The thing I see most commonly is people put their, they clip their comms up on their shoulders so they can reach them easy. But you do have that up there. Now as far as adjusting it, it is very, very easy to adjust. There's nothing that runs inside the plate carrier. You don't have to take the plates out. It's a simple Velcro. You pull the Velcro, there's a buckle. You adjust it to make sure it's riding correctly. Your plate carrier should not be down here. You adjust it so it's riding properly uh, and it's very, very easy to adjust. Next, let's talk about these side panels. And the side panels have quite a bit going on. My favorite thing is probably the quick detach buckles. When you have a plate carrier that hooks on with just Velcro and you take it on and off every single time, you have to lift up the magazine pouch or the place card, whatever you have, adjust the Velcro, adjust the Velcro again over and over and over. And it can be a little bit of a pain. With these quick detach levers, you fit it once to you. And then when you take the levers on and off, you just pull the uh, string here out and then you pull it up and it comes off simple as that so you don't have to readjust it to your body every single time um, it's very very convenient the outside of the side uh, panel does have molly all the way around so you can add any pouches or accessories whatever you want on the top here it does have some velcro it opens up oh my god that velcro is so solid it opens up so if you want to run uh, armor on your side panels you can do so as well. The one thing I like the most is gonna be how, how much flex and how much give it has. There's, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a quite a bit of stretch and flex. Now I, I um, if you don't know, I've part, I, I partook in a tactical games. I'm doing another one in May. And uh, so I exercise with plate carriers a lot. And uh, this is probably my favorite feature. One of the things that if you're running, moving, jumping, whatever, the plate carrier really moves with you. Um, I know a lot of plate carriers have this, but not all of them. And it definitely helps to have the plate carrier move and flex with you as much as possible. Now the back of the plate carrier here has a lot going on as well. This back panel, this backpack, does come with the plate carrier and that's part of the reason I think this is such a good value here. It has three pouches here with Velcro, uh, Velcro covers, uh, admin pouches, magazine pouches, whatever you want to use them for. I noticed I could squeeze in a pull and springs water bottle in here. So again, tactical games, there's always a long distance endurance type battle. I'll probably slide a water bottle in here or two and uh, if I need it, I'll have it right here on my back. Underneath that, they have a very, very large admin pouch. And the inside of this pouch is uh, very, very soft. So obviously, if you want to put gear, medical stuff in here, you could throw your nods in here because it's so soft. But a very uh, multi-purpose pouch you could do a lot of different things with. Now, this back panel does open as well. Um, you could stick your bladder in here if you want to uh, uh, have a drink with you at all. It is a very, very large pouch. I just stuck my iPad in here. Not that you're going to put an iPad in there. Just wanted to see if it would fit. 11 inch iPad fit no problem. Um, so you have that on the back as well. Now if you're like me and you like running your plate carrier slick, very, very lightweight. I'm a civilian, no military or police. I don't need to carry a thousand things with me. Um, like most, this back panel comes off if you don't want it. Right here on the side, there's two zippers. We are just going to unzip one side unzip the other side and then this back panel is off. As you see, same as the front, the bottom of the pa uh, panel has molly. It actually has molly all the way through. The top has a little bit of Velcro if you want to add patches or whatever you want. It does have a drag handle here and then all of the stitching on here seems to be really, really nicely done. It's all double, triple reinforced stitch and it has a nice box stitch where, mat where it matters as well. Now taking a look at the inside of the plate carrier, uh, the padding, like I said, is extremely nice. It is uh, a very, very comfortable plate carrier to wear. As you see in here, it has these pads on the front and the uh, back of the plate carrier and also has the padding inside of the shoulders. If you don't want the padding, they just pull away. And on the inside, it's not Velcro, so it's not gonna chafe and bug you. Um, these are definitely very, very padded, very, very comfortable. I don't know how durable this is gonna be. It's made from such soft material that I said, I wonder how long this is gonna hold up. Again, I have no idea. Um, and this does come with a two-year warranty, which is also good. But that's something that crossed my mind. 
The one thing I want to point out is this tag in here. I've never read the tag in any of my plate carriers. Maybe I should go do that, but it says, warning, this plate carrier does not offer any protection unless ballistic body armor panels are installed. Everyone's favorite part of the video, the pros and the cons. Now, if the biggest pro for me is going to be the value and what you get for the money. There's definitely cheaper plate carriers. There's definitely more expensive plate carriers. For around the $200-ish price, this gives you a lot of features and a lot of value for your money. Um, very, very comfortable. The padding is great. I could wear this for a very long time, and it would not bother me at all. There's Molly everywhere, so if you can customize it and set it up however you want to. The Velcro they have, like I said, is very, very strong and should hold up and be very, very durable. Now, as far as cons, I don't really have a specific con. This is a new plate carrier, so time, anytime there's a new product, time will tell whether it's durable or not, whether there's issues, whether there's weak points. You know, I, I mentioned the padding may not be very durable. Wild guess, I have no idea, but time will tell if this is an, uh, a very, very durable plate carrier or not. My first impressions think it will be. I like it. I'm definitely going to wear it at the tactical games and, and uh, while I'm training, and then we'll see what happens. Now, if you want me to be very, very nitpicky and find a con, I have one con that is probably the most nitpicky con in the history of cons. On the back of the plate carrier, there's a Prime Armor logo, and there's a piece of plastic over it to protect it uh, that you're supposed to take off. It took me 10 minutes to get it off. I had to bust out a knife. I kept on peeling it. It was breaking. If you want a con, there's your con. Uh, that's, that's all I got for you. Um, before you guys go, though, I have a very, very important public service announcement. Everybody should own body armor. If you're a civilian like me or not, does not matter. You should own at least one set of body armor. If 2020 taught us nothing, um, it really showed me how how the, the peacefulness of our society, how sensitive that can be, and that can be knocked out of balance very, very easily. And God forbid the social unrest comes to your town, you wanna to be able to protect yourself and your loved ones. Now, I have enough armor in my house to uh, put one on every one of my loved ones. Everyone who lives in this house has a set of body armor. I pray no one will ever need it, but if we do, I will be very, very happy that we have it. So, thank you very, very much for watching my video. As always, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you're looking to support the channel, there is many, many ways to do so. We do have three channel sponsors. One is USCCA for self-defense insurance. Next one is Blackout Coffee for your caffeine needs. And third is Dangerous But Good for all of your Pro 2A and Pro God apparel. But the best way to support the channel is on Patreon. If you're not willing and able to kick up a few dollars per month on Patreon, no big deal. Just keep the likes and the comments coming because they really, really help me out. Now, if you want to see what videos I have coming out next, please consider subscribing to the channel and enabling the bell notification. This way, you will hopefully get notified when I come out with a new video. If you want to see what those videos I am working on right now in real time are, consider following me on Instagram, Facebook, and on Parlor. The link to all three are down in the video description. One last time, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace. Thank you.